Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. We are here on the Bificraft Patreon server and there has been so much happening on the server that I just have to make an episode about it. Last week the server was relaunched for his season 6 of the Patreon server and this season is going to be a little bit different than the past season. We are going to start off by a couple clips that were happening during Biffa's livestream launch of the server. What I'm excited to do tonight, let's get back into game mode survival. Boing! Yay! Here we go. Oh, I was missing the chat. What were people saying? Set up an array of furnaces, mine up a desert of sand, turn it into glass, play it there, but over there. Hello, everybody! Be right back. <laughs> Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. I try not to give you high fives. Don't want to knock you out. Woohoo! We're here at the start, the launch of Bifflecraft Season 6. I'm very excited. This is the starting platform, and here's me in my suits. Hello, hello. It just, um, you just walk past as I broke it, and just make that a little bit smaller. Thank you. Ow, the pooka, you've got it. Chuck it over here. You have a rainbow chuck joined. It, it. Thank you very Which much. Which music can I hear? Boing. Let's have a look in the book then. Maybe the stream. The book is going to tell us where to go. I'll tell you what we need to do. We need to mute the music while we just read this. Dangers abound on the land of ours. Shelter Who's can be found in the heavily? dark grounds below. Biff Underton waits for you southwest of these stones. Travel the can path of the setting sun it's away from the pole star in the north. Look for the great doors of legend. Dude. You know, the next page has the coordinates. Ah, we'll keep those hidden. Although you can read it in the book if you want to. <laughs> Let's start the music up again. Bum, bum, bum. How can you join the server? If you do exclamation mark play, it's in the title of the stream. Now, as you watch this clip here, you'll notice something strange. That the terrain generation is actually going to be on Y123. That's the, uh, that's the normal terrain generation. The ocean level is at like 100 and 180Y, and everything below that is, is Earth. So, this season is being called the subterranean chapter so we come down here this giant tunnel that was uh, created by voidford and it's really beautiful with all the little bushes and vines coming out of the stonework it, it just looks fantastic so we come down all the way down to the bottom of these steps which comes to y163 which is the normal uh base generation for a vanilla Minecraft. So, everything above that, it's still vanilla with just a couple tweaks to it. As we first came down these steps, we made our temporary little hobbit and hostel down here, and each one of us took a little 5x5 five five area or a 3x3 three three area and just made our little bed area for each one of us and we claim the spot and each one is individu individually cool. So I'm just loving all the different designs. And the first iteration that I had over here was the Puka's ever-changing foxhole starting off with the casual miner. Not too much to look at. And then my place ends up like this as the, uh, the Puka's ever-changing foxhole. This week, heck bar, we like our tea hot. So, this is my little hobbit hole that I have here. Um, apparently the tradition of making a little hobbit hostel area is continuing, so anybody that comes onto the server is making a little, like, 5x5 five five little area inside of this little hallway that we have. Uh, Biff, of course, is up front and the only one that has a window spot. So, jealousy there. And everybody coming down here, of course, uh, the first few spots were taken up by the people that were on the stream 
to start off and then you come down here and by far by far my favorite little hole in the wall is this one over here Okami's uh, Okami Lux Rainbow Explosion this place is incredibly colorful I just like love this place oh, oh. she's taking out the carpet for the uh, fishing farm down there the and this this is starting to extend really really far as we're getting more and more people onto the server it's just like ooh i haven't seen this one how did is that a player how did i didn't think that you could get this huh i think that's a person's head i thought you could only get steve and uh alex heads ooh Dism. I'm liking this. I'm liking this little, uh, this little naturistic thing here. Oh, this is nice. I like this. I like this. Okay. Still, by far, Okami's place. Love it. And Dism is next. Yes. Definitely, definitely like his place. Yeah. The biggest project for the community was the Biff Underton, or as some people call it, the Spawn Town, where everybody has their townhouse. And this is explained quickly inside the live stream. Here is a quick clip of someone explaining it. We're going to, as a community, we're going to dig out um, a large ellipse with this being the, the bottom level and all the shops and sort of community buildings will be on this level and above that will be the residential levels where we can build houses. And this community dig gets rapidly chewed out. Like, you come on one day, then the next, and half the project is pretty much dug out. And things start getting built in really quickly after that. As you can see here, Voidford put in the first set of staircases, the sweeping staircases, and it just looks amazing at this point. Um, just the first level of the uh, townhouse plots are placed down, but uh, yeah, things are looking great until people start putting in their houses and things are looking awesome. So we're going to just start off with my place here, the Puka's Arcane Hut. I'll have a little hovel inside of this broken down tree that uh, has a stalactite above it. The idea here is that I'm weaving some natural magics inside of my hut. Not sure exactly what I'm going to be weaving them for, but I thought it looked super awesome. I got a couple parrots that we will eventually get to in this episode showing that uh, I've actually gone out to the jungle area. It was a hell of a walk, but I have a uh, Polygon up here and Voxel. <laughs> Uh, if you get the reference of where each of those come from. Uh, to show you quickly, this is just my little area that I have a bunch of stuff sh sorted out. Nothing too fancy. Um, the water drips down from the stalactite being held up by these uh, uh, stained glass panes to try and hide it as much as possible. But yeah, it drips down the stalactite goes into here, forms a little fishing pond, and oh, and I'll get to that in a second, probably towards the end of the episode. But I have a couple pads up to the second floor here, just winding around. And I have up here, path winding around with the magics. I have inside here some art, uh, this meditation arcane area i suppose where water is dripping in through this uh, geode like stalactite so uh, having all these crystals forming inside of it and continues path continues outward where we have access to the upper level here so yeah i think this is an awesome design definitely fits me uh, let's see if I can land on the... Nope, didn't. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at mm, some other people around here. Uh, we have neighboring to us. I think this is uh, Mr. JJ. Yeah, Mr. JJ. 
And I'm not sure exactly what he's building, but I'm liking that he's most likely going to be building something tall. I love the tall builds that are happening around here that are going to their build limit. Uh, our build limit is 21 by 21 by 21. And I like people that are actually going to the full limit of that. I, I love that some people are taking advantage that we have a roof on this, on our plot of land. Um, I'm finding this funny over here. K-I-A, K-I-A, K-I-A. Apparent, I'm going to guess, I'm not sure if these are his deaths on the server. So he's had like, what, uh, six deaths and he's currently on his seventh life and he's anticipating an eighth activation. <laughs> uh, we'll find out that. Oh, um, not too far off from me is, of course, Biffa. Uh, he will be streaming soon, uh, digging out some stuff. Hopefully we'll see what's happening with him in his area. Uh, you should go see the streams that he's captured on his YouTube channel, Biffa Plays. I didn't include a bunch of his stuff because I think that his stuff captures a lot more of uh, what actually was happening during the live stream. Um, anybody can have this. You can destroy it if you want by Nero Pop. Ah, ah, this was this was looking kind of nice. I was liking this, like it almost looked like a log cabin Roman worship area, like uh, having these columns up here and it was kind of looking like a log cabin. I, I, I kind of liked it. <laughs> a, a kind of a cross between log cabin and um, Roman structure. I, I really liked it. Oh, ruins of a ghost. This place is nice. It's a, it's a haunted castle and it has uh, all these rotting floors and missing bricks inside of it. Random boats for some reason which kind of seems unsettling. And these places up here, I guess that they were kind of ghosts because they kind of seemed like it as they were looming over looking at you from a distance. Oh, cow, cow on a, on a, cow on a pike. Cow head on a pike. So yeah, that's a little bit, little bit unsettling place as these, as these things are looking down upon you. Uh, who else do we have down here? FHG's plot. And too much happening there. Who do we have over here? We have uh, Apollo Prophet. Okay, I've been seeing a bit of him come on here. So hopefully we'll see what's happening over there. Um, Forever more. Yoda Stein? Stein? Yoda Stein? I think Yoda Stein is his name. Forever more might be his plot. Uh, Odoric. He's looking nice with a modern house build. Ooh, he's using the uh, uh, glazed terracotta box. Wow, those are looking nice. Ooh, a uh, nice pool area. Oh, I like that. And looks like to be a bath. Bath area going up here. Well, it has a nice lookout to the to the town. The Underton town. Ooh, has a nice look out to the to the mushroom house of Mr. and Mrs. Needs. Oh, they added some brick onto the side of it. Oh, I like the the trim around it. Oh, there's Inferno. Oh, we are so going to get to Inferno and what he and I he and I were doing. Oh, what he did to me. Uh, let's go on down to. Take a look, a closer look at Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Needs. Oh wait, wait, no, no, no. There's not much up there. That's right. He wanted said to, uh, she said to get a good look from it from the second level, and it looks good from the second level. So, yeah, like the little mushrooms that are sprouting around here. I like how they uh, added a little bit of a bubble on top of those mushrooms there. Oh, oh, that she's got a couple of them in there now. Oh, um, Lear. Uh, let me come, come down here. Leasara. Leasara has, uh... Oof, she's got a couple dragons, too. Oh, she's here! Probably AFK. Dragon eggs. Oh, that looks so imposing as you come in. Rawr. Ooh. 
I'm getting a wall of heads. Hi. Oh, this is looking awesome. So cool. She had a, a fish tank right there where the heads were, and apparently she moved the fish all the way up into the upper tank. Oh, that is looking so awesome. What do we have over here? We have mailbox. That's not the name. Voidfordum and Omega. Uh, Voidford is the person that has uh, made these sweeping staircases to each of these levels. Made the little t swirly design in the roof and the bushes and he's the one that made the main stairway down here and I think he's also the one that designed the uh, the initial the initial ellipsis because this isn't a, a an exact circle it's an ellipsis of and it is looking awesome I wonder if Voidford did the uh, the woman holding the torch there the running woman that holds the torch so yeah doing good with the terracotta blocks is looks nice and I love the natural incorporation to this with the uh, water water feature in the center and the ores that are just a uh, part of this oh, I love natural designs I just love them that's so good and this is apparently his bed with a overhang hmm interesting like I, I, I like oh he's got a parrot he's got a parrot get a parrot <laughs> parrot in the bedroom he's got access to the second floor which is nice all right who do we have over here off limits back to finish uh, the basic and build tomorrow hmm wonder who this is this is oh oh this is uh welcome to Aussie corner do 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 Beano's okay Beano's yeah he's making a uh, oh, apparently an Aussie themed themed area which I'm really liking oh he's making a house oh I love floaty things oh I love floating things oh that is gonna look so cool I love that and Okames oh Okami hasn't done anything. Oh, I can't wait to see Okami's. She's the one with the super, um, super colorful place down there in the uh, Hobbit Hostel. Uh, Uncle Matt hasn't done anything over here yet. Um, oh yes, Infern and Infern's place. I think I said Inferno's. I meant Infern's place. And come up here. He has a glacier and a few heads. And a chicken head. I'm going to be suspicious of this guy. From now on. I watched you. Got that. Oh, oh, the house. The house. Ooh. Oh, that's what. It's a bubble under the water with a floating ho house on the water. Oh, that is so cool. I like this. This is awesome. Oh, this is so cool. I like I like floaty things. This is good. This is good. Very good. Awesome. And cactus. I saw him on. Uh, so why a cactus? Because that's his skin. I saw him come on. Forgot his name, but he has the skin of a cactus. Yes, that is definitely um, whatever his. Is his place. I think they're sharing a plot. Uh, let's see here. Mooney. Slayer of Villages. What's over here? Mooney. This is causing... Causing light and water updates continual? What is happening with this? I don't understand. I don't understand. Um... Do, 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 do. Do here Odin's Odin's place. This is looking nice. Sometimes the desert desert temple, I believe, or desert house. Either way, looking nice. Like in the desert theme there. Awesome. Back to my place. I don't think I've missed anybody. Uh, let's go ahead and check over. Behind, I think. Oop, running out of uh, juice here. Looks 
like the three hoppers behind the shulker station will fill up, uh, get immediately put into the box when placed. There's something happening. Oh yeah, right back here. That's right. This this was looking cool. I like this. The uh, metal press. I'm not gonna press those buttons in case something happens. Mass storage cube. I'm thinking this guy likes his uh, modded Minecraft. Who 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 who? Uh, Malice. Malice. I think that's right. Malice. 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 Anyways. Uh, steam generator. I like that a lot. And lava generator. Oh, I'm liking how this is. This is this is awesome. Those those are some awesome builds into here. Looking kill. And ooh, what's over here? This is Shadow Space. Okay. Shadow's Gown. Aha. Ha ha ha. Ah. Puppy Play Park. Please pick up after your pup. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what, what the theme is about a puppy, but apparently this is a, a doghouse for Shadow. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, nothing much happening back here for... K-Lops. K-Lops place. Ooh! Ooh, there's a, construction, there's a construction site that I want to see. There's a construction site somewhere over here that I want to check out because it's cool. Future home of Masa Masahe. Future home of Masa's place. <laughs> nah. Uh, I'm, I'm liking how this construction theme that he has for right now. Apparently he says this is temporary. But yeah, he's got some logs tied down. Some, uh, I think this uh, uh, pile, pile drivers, something like that. With uh, some chests going, going up and down. Uh, yeah, I like, I like the construction theme that, they have, that he has here for right now. Oh, yeah, I'm just loving it. Also, let's pop on down here. Do, 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 do. Oh, like most vanilla games, I'm going to try, try to have uh, no armor on, so no armor for me. Uh oh. Do, 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 do. Um, inference, all that fits in print. Uh, Infinity, three diamonds. Oh, oh, okay. I see what he's doing. This is his uh, bookstore. Okay. This is his bookstore, Inferno's bookstore. We have Ghostly's Almighty Quartz Shop. Uh, payment goes here. Uh, for all you quartz and stuff, you can get them. Okay. So that works somehow. Uh, Odin's Ore is plenty. Now I was I was well, I was wondering about this when there was nothing inside a chest. Two diamonds per diamond, and apparently he's giving diamond ore. Ah, now it's making sense to me. All right, uh, this place I'm definitely going to be coming over here to buy an elytra. Oh, good, there's some elytras in here. Gonna buy myself an elytra. Maybe button fight the dragon. Ooh, shulker boxes. Oh, good. Get myself some shulker boxes. This is this this is nice. What is this? Coal block or terracotta F3? This is concrete powder. Oh, I'm liking that. That just looks nice. Oh, it looks like a giant shulker box. Oh, that is cool. And this guy, give me all your stuff. Uh, stacks of iron, diamonds. Okay, I'm I'm getting this. Okay, you put you put in andesite and you get a diamond. Which is nice. Kind of a reverse payment there that I haven't seen too much of. Uh, stock is currently low. This is uh, Okame's. Okame's place. With all the colors. Yay! I'm glad she's having such a big color thing. Now this, I don't understand. Oh, I'm liking... Oh. Oh, there's a, there's a mirror quality to this. I see, I see what he's doing. Void for designs. Now let's see if he's he's added anything to his book here. 
<laughs> yes, he has. He had a book here that said, I build stuff, and that's it. So I'm glad he's added a little bit more. Uh, can you... Oh, wait. Can you please help me at some point build uh, some awesome looking... It's going to be awesome kingdom. All right. Awesome. All right. So people put in their request and they builds. Okay. So he has only put in I build stuff. Uh, Mr. JJ's Humble Gold Shop. Apparently this is this place where he smelts his gold. And... Uh, Free end city loot. Huh. Diamond horse armor. Well, I'm not going to be needing diamond horse armor anytime soon. Ooh. Free end city loot. Eh. Uh, I feel weird taking things. I feel weird taking things. But anywho, there, here's her shop. The, uh, Le the Asara's clock, clock and clock repair shop. Uh, apparently this was made in response to someone that uh, didn't know to uh, make a clock for uh, figuring out what time it is while they're below the earth. It's just like, can you tell me what time it is below the earth? So make, make a clock. Clock. Complex clocks also available. Ask, ask Leosara for help. And eventually, I'm going to be making my own shop over here. I made it below my place. Over here. This is the Puka's Tea Club. Notice that I have a club in the shape of a tea. And we're going to be selling uh, different types of tea. Or uh, potions. And renamed potions. So... We're going to have some grass clippings that are going to be uh, some tea leaves. And we're going to have some potions that are already brewed teas. So we're going to be selling that at a premium price. Because these will be having the Puka's name on them. So premium price. <laughs> we got our little brew stands here that we're going to be uh, using for our tea kettles. And uh, we got a vat of water here for uh, large batches of our, um, um, our economy teas. And we have a second level up here that is going to be for tea sipping with a few tables. We're going to need to make that. We have a water stream that is actually coming through my base uh, specifically for the uh, quality of water. We are going to be using only the finest filtered water through arcane magics so the tea and tea water is the purest of waters and uh we're only going to have the best quality of tea clippings and behind here we're actually going to have the pig-headed pub we're going to have a back alley here with a uh with a little uh seedy place with a couple dumpsters that you can walk by oh my gosh is that a button splotch of blood and you're gonna bo go behind here and you're gonna have a uh, a pub area that uh, Infern is actually going to uh, build so it's gonna be an awesome awesome pub place back there who knows who knows what we're gonna build back there but up here business up front party in the back do 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 so that is the tour of the Biffa Craft Place. I am now going to leave you with uh, a little bit of the adventure that I had with Infern. Apparently, when I came on, I had a pig head in the middle of my base here with a little bit of pig blood. And, um... Yeah, that's what this this rotten pig head is for. It's a rotten pig head sacrifice to the pig gods. It's from Infern. Caution, owning this head causes friendly hunting. And I was haunted for quite some time while, uh, while I was on the server by Infern. But I didn't know who it was. So there was this, this random guy that was going around just just poking fun at me. Just, just being all haunty like with invisibility potions. So here's, I'm gonna leave you with clips of those.
So I came into my base here and I have a pig with a bunch of blood around it. Don't know where it came from. I literally just turned around and there is a head. Like one minute it's there, one minute it's not. Just why is there a pig head? No idea why. Um, kind of creepy. Oh, there's a sign. There's a sign. It says, uh, sadly the pig god did not like my sacrifice. So why are you giving it to me? I don't understand. This this is kind of creepy. It, maybe it should be a horse head? Uh, yeah. There is somebody invisible around this area. I've been trying to <laughs> build my nether tunnel and uh, there's something invisible. I know you're there. Come here, come here, come here, come here. You're in there. Come back. Here. No, dang it. I'm Come back here. I'm gonna get, no, I'll put down the stone tablet thingy. Go, 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 go. Wither, what? What? There's a wither? Wait, is somebody summoning a wither? Here I am, chasing a ghost, and there's a wither that's being spawned somewhere in the nether. Why? Is it safe to be in the nether right now? Ah, I have no idea whether it's safe or not. Uh, I can't find the invisible person, and the wither health bar just went away. I saw it pop up, but it didn't last long. Where? What's happening? Oh, piss on a... Oh, that was... So creepy. Come back here. He's right outside, blinking pig head. I don't know what sort of stuff you got yourself into, but don't bring the rest of us into it. Uh, I think he's just haunting me. I'm not sure. Uh, the creep. No, block right there. I heard you walking towards me. Just, just go away. Go away. I see your sparklies. No, just go away. Just, just, just go away. Stay away. No, no, stay away. No, stay away. Oh, you are what you eat. You have eaten chicken. Chicken. I got the perfect solution for this. Stop the invisible ghost from following me. Just, I got the solution right here. I got the solution right here. Just need you to stop following me. If you... Stop following me if you can't see me. Oh, deception! <laughs> I hope he didn't catch the ladder. That means I, I think I lost him. I think I lost him. I'm just gonna come over here and the stairs up, and I don't think he's gonna follow me. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait inside of here for a little while, holding shift. That's what I'm going to do. So after waiting my whole little while, I found out that the ghost was, in fact, Infern. Sign? Sign. Wait, sign? <laughs> no. 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 Just no. Let me let me make my invisibility potions. I've got to make my invisibility potions, and then I can get out of your... Just disappear. I can disappear, and you won't follow me. Go away. Bathroom is occupied. No. I, I need a poop. Just just no. 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 I I have to poop in here. It has to happen. Ooh, ooh, potions are done. Potions are done. Gimme, 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 gimme. Aha. You darn it didn't work. Well, you know what did work? My invisibility potion. Oh, you can't see me. Run through the flowers, lose track of my sparkles. So Infern and I are now working on the um, the little area, the little tea club. So he gave me a pick, which is awesome. It has mending on it, and it's unbreaking. I think it's fantastic. So Infern and I helping dig out an area for my shop. Alright everybody, I am going to end this episode here. Uh, this episode is going to be a little bit longer just with showing you everything that's been happening on the Bificraft server. Uh, let me know if you like the episode. I'll eventually get around to making another one of these episodes just to show you all that's happening on side the Bificraft Patreon server. 
Uh, of course, check out Biffa and Plays, and uh, if you want, you can actually go to Biffa's Patreon site, and you can actually come onto the server by becoming a Patreon. So thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope to see you all later. Bye! Hugs! Hugs!